everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some test users in your AD. Now, we need test users sometimes for a variety of reasons, mainly if we're doing like migration testing or, or other, other testing. And we don't really want to use test user one, test user two, because that's obviously very boring. It'd be much nicer to have actual uh, accounts that have names, addresses, email addresses in there, uh, employee numbers, th things like that, just to give a, a good solid test of how migration might work. So we've been asked uh, by people to say, hey, we want 2000 test users in this OU. So I'm going to show you a quick way to create those. So what I've put together is a spreadsheet, as you can see here, with um, some input with a little macro that runs. So firstly, the UPN that we want to apply, you can see I'm using that planium.com uh, again, how many users we want to create for this Quick one, we'll do 20 users and we're going to start at line 10 for that. You can obviously increase those to, to, to build on that. And we need to say what OU we want to create those in. Now, this is the distinguished name for the OU, which I'll show you how to get hold of. So you jump into the DC. We look at the OU we want to get the distinguished name for. We need to make sure that the advanced features are turned on, but we would right click here and hit properties and go to the attribute editor. And we're looking for distinguished name, which is this one here. Go into that and you can you can copy that to the clipboard. That is the, the DN for that OU. So we'll do that. And then you'd go back to your spreadsheet and then paste that into that cell there. Next step is we'll put a display prefix just to segregate those users. So when we look at them in the console, we can see MIG test in front of them. Uh, company definition is just a uh, what company they belong to. That's obviously just a text field inside AD. Um, you can specify what you want to in there. And then the password, which will be uh, three alpha characters and then five numeric and a special character at the end. If we leave it blank, it will create the random password for us. If we put a password in, we can set the password to that particular password, obviously, for all of the users. But now we're ready. So I'm just going to hit create. And that will very quickly give us these random names. And you can see we've got actual names. There's our MIG test, uh, a SAM account name, which has been said, the UPN. And if we go across here, completely fictitious addresses. These uh, don't mean anything. And even got departments, job titles. There's your password that's set. And also the OU. Now, if we go right across to the end here, this is where the, the command that we need to copy in happens. So what we do, we grab that and we again paste that into all those lines. And you can see now, if I grab those out, what I can do is put those into PowerShell. So if I jump back over to the DC and I just run up the PowerShell ISE. What I can do, I can just drop those in here and we can run them. So if we hit the play button, It'll go ahead and create those accounts. You can see it does it very quickly. And we just drop that one away. And now if I refresh this screen, there we go. There's one of our test users. So let's go and have a look at one of them. Let's have a look at uh, this one. And you can see there's our settings. We have the address in there, got the account details. We have organization. And really we have accounts really ready to go and migrate. So let's suppose we want some more people. We want to add in, let's say, another thousand users in there. So we'll jump back to the spreadsheet and we'll change that. So we want a thousand people and we're going to start that at line 30 and just hit create there. That'll take a second or so to do those for us. And now we just run across and grab this line. Paste it down the end, copy that out, back into here. Nice new one, paste that in, there's our thousand users, and run that script. Give that a second or two, that will create those for us, and we'll see them, and I can go here, and I can actually just start hitting a little refresh, and you can see, yeah, we've got a lot of accounts coming in there. occasionally you might find some errors here it may pick up a, a duplicate name now and again as you can see account already exists uh, that's fine 
Um, you might, as I say, end up with a few of those because it's a relatively small set of information it's pulling the random from. But the idea is, if you're doing a thousand people, two thousand, three thousand, you're going to have to account for some of these little duplicates coming in. But essentially, you're going to create a lot of test accounts here. You can see here we have a lot of accounts been made, perfectly good for testing purposes and very easy to, to create quickly. Now let me show you what's behind the scenes on that spreadsheet. If we jump back in here, you will see if I go to the, the name section, this is our list of data that it's pulling from. So if you wanted to add to the list, obviously it's going to take a, a first name from this column, the last name, and, and build it accordingly. You can go, as I say, all the way down the bottom, you can see there's quite a long list of names here. You can see there's more first name and last name choices that it's picking up. And it will create random ones from that. The code is all the VBA in the background of the Excel. And once you get the spreadsheet, by all means, have a look at that code and make any alterations or add-ons that you want. But essentially what I'm just providing you here is, a, as I say, a nice quick and easy way to create a ton of accounts that look like uh, real accounts to migrate rather than just the obligatory test user one, two, and three that we, we see so often. So to get this spreadsheet, I ask you just to subscribe to the channel, drop me a note at uh, mark at thecloudgeezer.com. Uh, that's in the, in the article off the website as well. I'll put it in the notes for the YouTube channel. Uh, but drop me a note and I'll send you a code that you can then download it off of the store for free. So please do that. Uh, thanks for watching today. Appreciate everybody's time. And again, yes, please subscribe to the channel for more. That really uh, helps me out a lot. I really appreciate that. And I will talk to you next time. Have a good one.